Hey y'all, it's me, Serena, and I am just checking in here with what I'm wearing today. And I'm getting ready to do a video for you guys. I've got a little haul from Amazon over here. It's the Amazon Prime uh, fashion where you pay $4.99 a month and they put together a collection of items and send them to you to try for free for seven days. So I'm gonna do that shortly. But first, I've already been out on a work appointment this morning and I've got some showings this afternoon. But now that I've got this in between time, I'm doing my videos and whatnot. So I'm wearing this cute uh, dress that I got in my last Walmart haul. This is by the brand um, Free Assembly. And it's the little t-shirt swing dress. I love this, this is so comfy. And I'm wearing it with my Sam Edelman thong sandals that you've been seeing on repeat <laughs> um, in the nude color. And yeah, th this dress is just so flowy and so easy and breezy and cool. And um, for jewelry, I'm wearing these um, little studs by Spartina and just my rings and my watch and my hair. Yes, my hair looks very different today. This is the natural state of my hair. <laughs> uh, my hair is not what you'd say curly, but it is very wavy. And my hair has its own, um, its own brain, I guess. And it tends to know what the weather's doing. And today it's very humid here. It's been raining and now it's the sun's out. It's a very stormy, unstable atmosphere. I think we're supposed to get storms later today. But anyway, as soon as I washed my hair and towel dried it this morning, I knew that there was no point in me trying to blow it dry and smooth it out because my hair was gonna be crazy today. So um, to get this look, all I did, and I'll show you the back. I know it's kind of wild and it's not for everybody, but um, this is how I wear it when I don't want to fight with it and it is humid and, and hot outside. I just, um, you know, towel dry it and I always use this every day. Um, this is by Redken. It's a pillow proof uh, express treatment primer and the cap comes off. You just push this down and a little bit comes out in the top and it's a primer to or an, a heat protectant so it protects your hair from blow drying and whatever else you may be doing to it. And it just helps tame down frizziness for the most part. And it's just um, a really good prep for your hair. And then you put your other products on after this. And like my hairstylist described to me, this helps your hair product do what it's supposed to do. And it keeps your hair from just soaking up that product. The, the, your hair can soak this up and get primed for the product and for styling. And then um, for the way I wear it today, the best thing I've found that I like to use is by Garnier and it's this curl shape defining spray gel. And I just, you know, spray this all over it and kind of scrunch it with my hands. And then I take my hair dryer and I've got a diffuser attachment on it. And I just very gently, you know, diffuse it and I flip my head over and I do it from the underside. And then um, I just let it dry by itself mostly. And now it's it's all the way dry, all the way up to my scalp in the back. So it kind of gets bigger and fluffier as the day goes on. <laughs> now the downside to this is after I sleep on it tonight, tomorrow it's gonna look like a big hot mess. And I'm gonna have to get out uh, a curling wand or something to put some more defined curls in it to uh, give it some, some kind of shape because it will not look like this the next day unless I wet it again and scrunch it again. Um, so that's my that's my hair in its natural state. As far as makeup today, um, for my foundation today, I used this e.l.f. Camo CC Cream and it's got the sunscreen and everything in it. And um, I use my same powder, my same eyeshadow palette the NARS blush and the Bobbi Brown bronzer. And on my lips today, I'm wearing this Revlon Colorstay Satin Satin Ink, and it's in the color Partner in Crime. So that's my look for today. I hope y'all are doing great, having a great Monday, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. 
Hey y'all, it's me, Serena, and I'm just popping in here for my outfit of the day. Oh my gosh, um, my hair is a mess today. So this morning it didn't look too bad, but like I said, on day two of letting my hair go natural, I always have to go in and put um, some curling iron curls in it just to give it some definition and not look so crazy. But I've been out shopping with my daughter, uh, my senior. She needed a dress for graduation and a dress for award, senior awards night. So we've been out and it's been raining, storming today. We have been in and out of stores, in and out of rain. Um, and so the rain and the humidity and everything has just made the curls that I put in with a curling iron fall out. And it, it's just a big frizzy mess. I'm gonna see if I can't pull it back into a ponytail and um, tame it down. It'll be a low little, just a little poof of a ponytail, but I think that's what I'm gonna have to do for the rest of the day. But anyway, here's what I'm wearing. It's cool today, like in the 60s because of all the rain. So I'm wearing my um, Michael Starr's sweatshirt in this kind of animal print. It's gray and black. And I've got on my Good American jeans. And on my feet, I've got my Sam Edelman, um, Thong sandals in black. So that's what I wore today. And I sure was glad that I had on long pants and long sleeves because getting wet outside and then going into those air conditioned stores was freezing. And um, my makeup is probably kind of worn off too, but I, I used the, the pure foundation today, the pure four in one selfie foundation. And then on my lips, I've got a little bit brighter color. It's um, it's this Revlon Color Stay Satin Ink, and the color is called Your Majesty. So that is my lip color today. And I just wore this tiny little silver necklace and these little uh, white gold diamond hoop earrings for jewelry. And that's it. So I hope y'all are having a good day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey y'all, it's me, Serena, and it's Wednesday. Here's my outfit of the day. Um, it's a little bit cooler today after all the storms we had that blew through yesterday, so wearing pants and a jacket. Um, so this t-shirt is by Bowden. I got this in my last trunk club, I believe, and it's just white with the little foil fan looking things on it. And then for pants, um, these are a pair of the, I think they're called the Girlfriend Chino from Loft, and they're this dusty pink color, which I really like. Let me adjust this down here where you can see. Um, and these have a frayed hem. I don't know if you can see that down there, so they're just cut off at the bottom. And I love where they hit on me. And um, these are super comfy pants. I know uh, I've worn the gray ones like this and a couple of other videos but the gray ones are not a raw hem like like these are they have a little cuff down there or you can cuff them and i'm wearing my jean jacket and my little uh steve madden slides so that's what i'm wearing today and um jewelry i Played around with my little um, earrings here from my curator box, Curator, um, and put another link on them so they're not super dangly, but they're a little bit more dangly. And yes, my hair is back to somewhat normal today after the curly days. What I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get away from using heated styling tools on my hair because I do have some damage on my hair and I'm, I'm trying to, you know, be gentle with it. And I'm trying to let it grow, so I have to be gentle so it just doesn't get too damaged and ratty looking. So what I did, I did use a brush on the top, but I mainly just used my fingers and I blew dry my hair and I pulled the curl out with my fingers. And so kind of what I'm left with is, you know, if some little curls around the bottom. I got a big wave right there. But after I dried it, then um, I've got some styling cream. It's by John Frieda. It's called Frizz, it's, you know that Frizz Ease line of stuff he has? It's a cream and it's in a tube and it's white and it's called Touch Up Cream. And I just used a tiny dot of that and kind of, you know, raked it through the ends here 
and uh, to, to tame down any frizz. And then I hit my hair with a little bit of spray. I always have to use a little bit of hairspray on my hair living in a humid climate. I have to do it just to lock out that humidity. So I always hit it with just a little bit of hairspray, but it's not like shellacky thick hairspray. I'll show you the hairspray I use when I do my, um, my Walmart or drugstore health and beauty finds. I'll share with you which one I like to use. So anyway, that's my look of the day. I hope you're all having a great one and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey y'all, it's me Serena and I'm just popping in here with my outfit of the day. So I am wearing this little um, off-white colored top from CC. This is from Nordstrom. I got it in my trunk club last month. It has the little detail around the neck here, the little ruffle and then the ruffle on the sleeve. And I'm wearing it with these democracy straight leg jeans that have the leopard print velvet stripes running down the side. I think they're so cute. And on my feet, I've just got on these little quilted black slides that I got from Walmart to pick up on the black and the leopard. And let's see. Makeup, <laughs> hey, makeup is the same. Um, my uh, Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Selfie Foundation. I'm using my Elvis Duran, or Bobbi Brown Bronzer in the color Elvis Duran, and NARS Blush and Orgasm, Tarte Matte Eyeshadow Palette, Man Eater Mascara, and today on my lips, I'm wearing a, a lipstick that has become my favorite. It's this, um, matte lipstick by Charlotte Tilbury and the color is Pillow Talk. It's just a really nice, you know, neutral shade for every day. And the nice thing about it is it's a matte lipstick, but it's not drying. It doesn't like roll up on your lips or make them feel really dry. It's, it's a matte for sure, but it's more creamy. And then, um, just to add a little bit of shine, I put a dab, just a dab of, uh, lip gloss on my lips and smear that around and it that's the look you get so it's just a really good everyday uh lip color and it wears very comfortably i mean it does wear off but then you can reapply it and it doesn't get all cakey and, and yucky it's a really nice lipstick formula so that's my look for the day oh i'm wearing my gold um convertible earrings from my last curator box and that's it, my hair today. This is day two hair, and like I told you, I'm trying not to use heat products on my hair other than the dryer, hair dryer. So it, it's a little, <laughs> it's a little wavy and crazy today, but um, you know, that's okay. I'm just, I'm trying to get it more healthy and not process it so much and put it through so much stress. So that is my hair for the day. So I hope y'all having a great one. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey y'all, it's me, Serena. Happy Friday. And I'm just checking in here with my look of the day. And if you see the things behind me, that's my Stitch Fix, not Stitch Fix, Trunk Club. <laughs> I don't know why I get so mixed up. It's Trunk Club that I'm gonna be filming a little bit later today. Um, so it was cool today. We had a line of storms come through yesterday afternoon and the temperature has really dropped. So I'm in a little sweater today. It's only gonna go up to 70 degrees. So this is um, something you've seen me wear quite a few times, but I love it. And it was a little bit pricey, but that just shows you that sometimes pricey pays off because you have to look at your cost per wear. I'll, I'll mention that in a video eventually. Um, you have to look at clothes based on cost per wear. So if you buy something that's expensive, like an expensive pair of jeans or a jacket, or a sweater, whatever it is, but you wear it a lot and you look at your cost per the wear. So divide the cost by the number of times you wear it. And um, and that's how you can gauge, you know, what you should spend on certain things. I don't always follow that rule, but it helps me <laughs> justify spending a little bit more on some things if I know it's something I'm gonna wear a lot. And I do wear this sweater a lot. This is by Michael Stars, and it came in my very first Amazon Prime wardrobe box. 
So I'm wearing this. Um, I'm wearing my necklace that I love. This came in my front door fashion box for spring. And I'm wearing these gold earrings that I've been wearing so much lately. These are from my, the spring curator box. And I am wearing, um, these are kind of the teal blue colored uh, democracy ankle skimmers. These are in a size six and these came in a wantable, I believe. And on my feet, I'm wearing these little brown um, Hirachi style sandals that I got at Walmart. You guys, these have been just the best little shoes. They're so comfortable. I have worn these so much. That, aren't they cute? They look great with jeans, um, great with any kind of pants. I wore them. Uh, my daughter, Macy, had to redo her senior photo shoot, which is a long story. But I wore these shoes the day that we uh, did that, and we were all over the Botanical Garden in downtown Huntsville and walking all around, and um, and my feet never hurt. They were great in these shoes. So anyway, that is my outfit of the day. And for my makeup, makeup, I'm wearing the Pure Foundation in the color TN1. I'm wearing my Bobbi Brown bronzer, my NARS Orgasm blush, and um, Tarte palette, matte eyeshadow palette. I used some more brown color today. It's a little bit darker. And then on my lips, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury uh, pillow top lipstick, and then I topped it with a little bit of my Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the color Silk. So that's my makeup look for today. Hope y'all having a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hey y'all, it's me Serena and happy Saturday. I'm just popping in with what I'm wearing today. It's the weekend, so you know that means I'm wearing some level 99 joggers. These are my olive green ones. And with them, I'm wearing uh, this little pink tie-dye top from Target. This is Universal Thread. I think I got this for seven bucks. Um, my jacket is cut from the cloth. White denim jacket. It's in a petite size. My necklace, this is from my latest trunk club. It's a little oval disc that says love you to the moon and back. And then this tiny little moon right there. Really cute. And I've just got on some Tory Burch stud earrings. And on my feet, I'm wearing my uh, Sam Edelman Circus uh, Tory Burch flip-flop dupes. So that's my outfit for today. I hope y'all having a great weekend, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hello. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. It's me, Serena, and I'm just popping in here for what I'm wearing today. We are going to go out for a casual late lunch so i thought i would show you what i'm wearing um i've got on this little white top from cc and these uh, denim shorts by jag both of these pieces are from uh, my most recent trunk club and this is a kimono that i can actually wear without swimming in it this is a little short uh kimono from transcend from every eve um, a few transcends ago so, and I just love this. It's got beautiful colors in it. But what I love most about it is it has elastic around the sleeves. So the sleeves aren't just flying around everywhere. And it's shorter. So I can wear it and not be overwhelmed by it. So and on my feet, I've got on my little Steve Madden uh, slides. So that's my look for today. I'm also wearing the little... Um, necklace that came in my trunk club it's got the little moon and the little disc that says love you to the moon and back i've got my gold earrings on from my curator box and my lip gloss today is the maybelline lifter gloss in the color silk and i have my tarte eyeshadow palette on today so that's my look hope y'all are having a great day happy mother's day to all the moms out there and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.